Hello, P6 students. Welcome to our today's radio learning program for science. Produced by Rwanda Education Board with the support from UNICEF Rwanda. I am your radio teacher, Gerald. I am so happy to talk to the parents, guardians, and any other person who had been with us from the beginning, and equally to those who have joined later, for your meaningful support to the students and the program altogether. May you keep supporting the learners. Great. Before the start of today's lesson, I would like you to get your pens and notebooks ready for doing exercises and homework. Are we together? Great. After getting the writing materials, may you sit next to the radio such that you can hear words from it clearly. Dear parents, I would like you to be close to the student. Thank you. Now, let us stand up to have a warm-up song that reminds us of what we learned in our last lesson and also will tell us what we are going to learn. I am going to sing the song two times as you listen keenly. Then when I say it is your turn, then you will join me as we sing for the third time. Is that understood? Wonderful. Now, here is the song. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed him, this is what he says. He ho, he ho, he ho, he ho, he ho. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed him, this is what he says. He ho, he ho, he ho, he ho, he ho. Students, it is your turn to join me. Let's sing. Sweetly sings the donkey at the break of day. If you do not feed him, this is what he says. E ho, e ho, e ho, he ho, he ho. Wonderful. I love your voices. Did you love the song? Oh, perfect. The song reminds us of the farm animals. The song reminds us of the farm animals. Now, students, can you remember what we learned in the last lesson? Can you remember what we learned in the last lesson? Mm -hmm. Can you write down some of the things we get from these farm animals? Remember, the farm animals that we talked about were cattle and goats. Now, can you write down some of the things we get from these farm animals? Perfect. From these farm animals, we get meat, milk, skins and hides and bones for other purposes. From these and farm animals, we get meat, milk, skins and hides and bones for other purposes. 
Now, let us listen to this message. Need to quit you Bruce Melody. Yeah, yeah, Murahone is a Mahora Mahoro. The Bruce Melody in Konanima is a Kivuga. Hanima, you must have to move the Zebucha. Niba, whatever you know, who fit to remain yet subdued by the coronavirus. Changwa se ukabuziko haruuzi afite ibyo bimenyetso ukwiriye kumenyesha inzego z'ubuzima zikwegereye cyangwa ugahamagara kuri nimero rimwe rimwe kane kugira ngo muhabwe ubutabazi ubutumwa burabareba mugume mu rugo mu gintoki amagara araseseka ntayo yuhu welcome back students do you like the message yes i also like the message Students, our lesson of today is feeding of cows and goats. Feeding of cows and goats. Can you write that down on your notebooks? Feeding of cows and goats. Great. You see, in our song, we talked of if you do not feed him. So, our objective of the lesson today is, we will be able to find how farm animals, especially cows and goats, are fed. We will be able to find out how farm animals especially cows and goats, are fed. Students, did you know that cows and goats and any other animal should be fed on a balanced diet? Wonderful! Clap for yourselves. A balanced diet, therefore, is necessary for all the animals, human beings like me and you are included. Thank you. A balanced diet for animals contains carbohydrates. Just like in human beings, animals also need carbohydrates for energy and they get these from feeds that we give them. Animals also need proteins. You know, we need proteins for body growth. Animals also, they will need proteins for body growth and the animals can only get them from the feeds that we give them. Animals also, they need fat and oils. Animals also need fats and oils. The fat and oils will help the animals to nourish the body and to maintain the body heat. Animals also need mineral salts and vitamins. Animals also need mineral salts and vitamins. I hope you are recording these ones down. Great. The mineral salts and vitamins are to protect them against diseases and for strong bones development. My friends, animals also need roughages, just like human beings. Roughages are supposed to support in digestion and control of constipation. Are we together, children? Great. Wonderful. Now, students, let us look at some of the 
elements of good cattle goat diet and their sources the first category was carbohydrates we can get carbohydrates for animals from potato vines potato vines we can get them from maize grains maize grains we can get them from sorghum stalks sorghum stalks we can equally get them from cereals and molasses cereals and molasses i am spelling the word molasses m o l a s s e s i repeat molasses m o l a double s e s molasses students molasses we get them from crushed sugarcane molasses provides a good source of carbohydrates for our animals the second category of food was proteins animal proteins can be gotten from legumes commercial feeds like seeds when i talk about commercial it means we buy them there are shops for farm produces and accessories we can buy the animal feeds are we together great minerals and vitamins the third category which is minerals and vitamins can be found from salt licks and meals that are made from bones mineral salts and vitamins can be found from salt licks and meals that are made from bones fats and oils do you know fats and oils yes sometimes we buy fats and oils to prepare food so fats and oils are found in plant leaves and cotton seeds plant leaves and cotton seeds the last in that category was roughages a good source of roughages for animals are green fodder green pasture and vegetables green fodder green pasture and vegetables are we together students perfect i love that now my friends remember that just as human beings need a balanced diet so do our animals for the animals that we keep at home to give us a maximum production we must give them a balanced diet is that one understood Woo! well be back students the other thing that we have to remember that our cows and goats need most is clean drinking water is clean drinking water this helps 
in digestion. Water also helps in regulating body temperature. Regulating means controlling. Water also helps in controlling body temperature. Water helps in the purification of blood. Purification meaning making blood cleaner. Water also plays a part in milk production. Water also plays part in milk production. Very, very good students. I love your participation through listening and talking. Again, taking part in lesson activities. You will equally refer to your textbooks on page 184 up to 186 to those people who have the books. But those who do not have the books, keep on referring to what we have written down in our notebooks. Our parents, we are happy with you in your ways of making sure the children are staying safe. Students, until our next lesson, bye-bye.